Hello and welcome. I am Kim, and together with my three dogs, Turok, Bobby, and Pilu, I have taken on the challenge of converting my sprinter van into a camper van for us to travel Europe in. Come along as we say yes to new van ventures. <laughs> into the van so the bed is in I don't have these baskets so I made boxes <laughs> I put stuff in here these are my hats and my scarves and these are all my doggy jackets and doggy stuff like toothbrushes and tick things and nail clippers and stuff like that and medication that's all in here so this is the dog basket and I'm putting everything in the kitchen it's getting very full and now I'm feeling I have this house, which is still filled with things that need to go. And I'm like, where am I going to put everything? So I'm having a little bit of a freak out moment thinking I don't have enough space, uh, which I think I do have. But my wash is drying because my dryer is gone. I had something to wash. So I'm feeling a little bit like, oh my God, I don't have enough space. Oh my God, where am I going to put everything? So, a little bit of an overwhelming moment. Um, even though I kept saying if it doesn't fit in the van, it can't come along. If it doesn't fit in the van, it just can't come along. So, I just have to think that um, if stuff doesn't fit, I just have to make sure to make room for other things. But it's just... Whew. <laughs> My parents were here helping me. They uh, cleaned the entire house. They mopped all the windows. They helped me clean out all the cabinets they clean the whole kitchen well the cabinets because the whole the top of the kitchen is still uh the countertops are still filled with things but i'm gonna go to my friend because i'm really ready to just to be out of the fan thing for just a second so i'm gonna go to my friend i'm gonna show her sophie and just have some fun and then tonight i'll be back in my house i'll just go through the things but i really need to take a tiny break because I'm like, oh, where am I going to put this? Where am I going to put that? So I'm just going a little bit crazy. But I am looking forward to sleeping in the van tonight. Because I'm going to be using the uh, heater for the first time. I haven't used that. So I'm going to put in some gas. <laughs> I need to fill up the gas to be sure we have enough. Uh, <laughs> so I have no idea how much diesel it takes to start that up. But we'll see. I'm going to walk the dog. I'm going to feed them. But... I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm super excited. I always say super excited, but I'm really excited to get it all out of the house and everything to, because after a while stuff, even though it used to have a function, it just feels like clutter. I just want to get it out of here. I'm done with all this clutter. That's just clutter, 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 clutter. So I'm looking forward to having it all out of my space. <laughs> but I am feeling like I wanted to keep all this space here, but that also means that there's less storage. Now I have to say that this part up there is still empty. So I think I put my fins and my snorkels, everything, I put it in the back. I think I'm just going to get those things and shoes. I'm going to put it up there. And then spare blankets or something I might have. I'm going to put it all up there, my jackets, because stuff can go up there. And that's also, I just can't reach it really good, but I have to just get on the kitchen to do that but I'm happy it's going good but I'm just a little bit overwhelmed so I'm gonna take a short break and have some fun and I'll get back to you guys when I'm gonna finish
Yeah, so I got here and I really realized that I have been living in some sort of a van built bubble because there's a lot of trees that broke that I did not know about. <laughs> I had not seen it. <laughs> and I just went, oh, I, I uh, got gas and because of the war in uh, Ukraine, which is horrible. I'm very sad for these people that this is happening and I can't believe this is happening. So I'm not complaining, but I just hadn't noticed that the diesel price is super high, 180, 1 euro 80 for a liter, which is a lot for Americans. That's super expensive. Anyway, so I put gas in the van and then we, since yesterday, we don't have the, um, lockdown rules anymore so we don't have to wear masks we don't have to i don't think we do have to have the one and a half meter distance social distancing so everybody's going everywhere so i went to this place which is here which i like to walk with the dogs but over there is a uh, children's farm and over there is a beach you've seen the beach in my videos so I just thought, and over the, back there is a park, so I just thought, oh, I'll go here and then I'll just go walk the dogs. I couldn't park anywhere. <laughs> so I finally found, oh, dog is almost in the, in the water. So I finally found a spot, so we're walking here. It's a little bit different than where I wanted to walk, but I want them to run around. <laughs> They're young. They're good dogs. They need to run. Duok is, is I have to go look. She's going to fall in the water. <laughs> she's being naughty but anyway I've been living in this van built bubble and I'm out of it now I, I know the world again <laughs> it's so weird I'm so uh, it's so weird if you haven't been how long have I been doing anything like two weeks maybe maybe a month I don't know well we're gonna have some fun and then I'm gonna go see my friend guys we're in the van it's the first night we're gonna sleep in the van since I finished her because she's not all finished but finished enough so we can sleep in her I'm blasting the heater to get some warmth Ruby is sitting like a little ET mummy Kulu is sitting over there I'm getting in the bed we got home really late I was chilling with some friends I really needed that so we did that and it was a lot of fun and now we're in the van and I'm starting to figure out how the heater works because I need it to be s more silent than this. <laughs> but um, I'm going to work it out and then we're going to sleep in the van. We are outside my house because my house is still not empty. So we're outside the house, but it's really cozy. This light makes it feel like a proper tiny house. It's really cute and really happy. Durak is not really sure where to sleep she can smell her food so she's like wait mom my food is in here and she she oh she's she just smelled the heater and she's like oh what's that yeah so I'm gonna see if she wants to sleep on the bed with us or under the bed normally she sleeps under the bed but she's a little bit occupied right now with trying to find some food I think I'll just give her a little bit of food because she won't stop until she gets some so yeah this is gonna be our first night and um I'll get back to you when we <laughs> when it's tomorrow morning. I'm really happy. I'm go we're going to see how this goes. show you guys one more reason why I made the bed longer toward the door let me show you dog is not on the bed with us she's not really sure where she wants to sleep so I'm just having her on the bed so she can think of where she wants to sleep and when she when we were in Ape um, testing out the fan and had the shorter bed 
Durak was sitting over there where Pilu was standing and there was this big gap between the door and the bed. She was just sleeping there and she moved. I don't know what she did, but she fell in between and she was under the bed. Now, she's a resilient dog. It takes a lot to hurt her, but that can be good for her. So that scared me. And plus, Bobby and Pilou were too afraid to get close to the door. So what happened was that Bobby and Pilou were sleeping in the middle of the bed. <laughs> I was sleeping all the way to the side because um, they were afraid they were going to sh- sh- fall back there. So now I made uh, the bed all the way up to the door. And now they cannot... Hello. Hi. Now they cannot fall in between that gap because I filled it up with foam. And uh, <laughs> it's comfortable. They're all getting... Bobby is really cold. Bobby's being a little bit cranky. Pilou is really sure where to sit. So I'm gonna... <laughs> Duroc is trying to make the bed. Oh yeah, that's a good place. Duroc right in front of my legs. Yeah. So as you can see, <laughs> it takes a little bit of adjusting. It takes a little bit of adjusting. Yeah, it does. Oh, kisses, kisses, kisses. Thank you, baby girl. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the kisses. Thank you. Good sleep. So I'm going to get my dogs um, in a bit because Bobby is like, I'm going to sleep here. But that's on my lap. So <laughs> where do I sleep? So they finally settled. They all have their own place. They're comfortable. They're sleeping. So now I can sleep too. Good night. Good morning! We just woke up and today's the day we are moving out of our house into the van. We just opened the curtain so Pilou is like, hey, what's going on out there? What's going on out there? Oh, we had an awesome night. It's so comfortable in the van. I love it so much. I'm gonna go uh, walk the dogs, feed the dogs, have breakfast, and then I'm going to clear out the house. Such a weird thing to say, but I'm gonna be clearing out my house. So, yeah. Let's get going. Okay, so it's the last day in the house. I'm going to clean all the stuff. I'm going to look through all of it, see what I want to keep, see what can go. And this is all the crap that is left. There's some stuff here. My, uh, oh, there's some stuff here. Okay, there's still some stuff that needs to be sorted. This room is basically empty, but I still have to sell my chairs i hope i will sell the table so yeah we're getting there we're getting there so yeah i'm gonna finish this because it needs to be done by today <laughs> oh my friend is here but she lives a little bit further away from me so we don't see each other we talk to each other every day but we never see each other ah! oh my god babe. this is michelle She's my friend! Can I explain something about what, what you're doing? What I'm doing. This is my wonderful plant. I have two wonderful plants. This plant is struggling, but I'm gonna get it better. This is my cute plant, my Skindopsis. I've had it for, I think, since I was 15. And it sparked my uh, enthusiasm for plants. So I want to bring it along. I have no idea if it will survive. If it won't, I'll give it away during my travels, but... I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna oof. I'm gonna take it out and make smaller ones. It's so big. Ooh. It's heavy. Oof. Come out sooner. That's all. It's great. It's not that much. Some of it broke, but not that. Oh, it's good. Hopefully, I can just put it all in once because that will be great. Oh. I have no. 
no idea where I'm going to put it. <laughs> in my house, it doesn't look like a big plant, but in a van, it's going to be huge. <laughs> okay, this should be it. Okay. Okay, I'll just give this one to my camera lady. Yay! I think she can propagate this at home. Right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Turn off the camera. You're a reality camera. star now. Really you have to deal with it. <laughs> no, but I wanna. Uh, <laughs> you I wanna, wanna uh, do the garage area so I know what um, bas uh, what uh, the storage boxes to keep, and the rest will go to Goodwill. So okay. let's let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay. This is my favorite part. I'm not gonna keep this. Can you go? Thank you for your service. I'm doing a maricondo. Thank you, all your stuff, all the stuff. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you for your service and bye bye. <laughs> Which you cannot fit these things in the bus. It just makes You're me laugh. <laughs> I can hear them fiddling and mumbling. <laughs> I'm talking to your audience. What? I'm talking to your audience mumbling. secretly. What's <laughs> the from Encanto? I can hear them but they mumbling. I don't know what she said. Just keep following her, like a puppy. <laughs> <I'm going. laughs> Here we go. We're not done. Other stuff, this you don't need. Great. Bye bye. Okay. You can see the influencer trying to fit everything into the van. I think my dad's gonna join me. He doesn't even fit in there anymore. <laughs> the we are going to the conclusion that I cannot bring all the stuff I wanted to bring. Cue the sad music. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna bring everything to Goodwill. Okay. <laughs> 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 I just want to keep filming yeah, exactly. for the extras. For the extras. For the boomers. <laughs> for the extra, extra inside information. Here you can see the influencer trying to fit everything into a bag. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what's he called? David Attenborough. Here you can see the influencer in her natural habitat trying to close a plastic bag with all her trash. <laughs> oh, everything can go. Everything can go. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, sorry. Oh, so much stuff. <laughs> I hear music in my head. You know what I'm hearing in it? You know what I'm hearing in it? Do you know what I mean, Shella? No. Hey? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Samantha. Samantha. <laughs> Samantha. For the people watching who don't know what that is, that's <laughs> Olaf walking through the magical forest being hunted by some wind creature. And then he keeps saying, Samantha. And that's the part I love the most about the movie. Yeah, so we did this prank that we called each other and then we're just like, Samantha, <laughs> is that you? Awesome, like, I, I love to do it late at night. We have to bring that back. Sleeping. We call <laughs> each other and then you pick up, Samantha. We know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. left it was lots of fun she helped me we were having fun and uh, she filmed a lot for me so that should be a very funny video I'm almost done it's just 
I have all these last things that I have. I, I don't really have a place for it. But I shoved a lot of stuff in the van. And tomorrow I'm just going to park somewhere where I can still sort it out. I'm just going to figure out if I'm going to take some more away. But I just have stuff that I'm not going to be able to bring along. Like, I wanted to bring some stuff to uh, paint or to just do some crafts with. And I just, I don't think I have place for it. So, yeah. We're, we're getting there, we're getting there, slowly but surely. Okay, so it's the last, hopefully, last run to... <laughs> I, bring my, my, I bring my dad to the... Bring my dad to work day. <laughs> to, the work to the recycling. Recycling. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to the recycling and to the Goodwill to see what the Goodwill takes and everything else going to go to recycling. But we have another car stashed. With stuff and my dad, so let's go. So it's the last couple of hours with uh, taking everything out of the house. My dad is vacuuming, not vacuuming. I'm super tired, so my energy is low. Sorry about that. I asked my mom if I can please eat with them tonight because I've just been running around like crazy. And then after we've eaten, I'm just gonna go to the grocery store and get some <laughs> healthy foods so that from tomorrow I can start eating uh, normal food. <laughs> But uh, yeah, oh, the sun is so nice. I'm almost done. Almost. Oh, almost. Oh, look, you can see that this is all trashed and full. And <laughs> I'm so tired. But I'm really happy because I'm just ready for this new adventure. I really am. Gonna say goodbye to the neighbor. Oh my god, I just discovered. I'm just the end of the day, so I'm just done. But I just discovered we put everything into the recycling including a lid for a curver box that I actually bought that fits exactly in my kitchen so that I can put food in there. I threw away the freaking lid. Jeez. Gonna see if I can buy it. Uh, oh, I feel such an idiot. I feel such an idiot. Gosh. Anyhow, these things happen. I had so many curver boxes and I just forgot to keep one lid. Oh. We threw it away. Okay, well, nothing we can do about it. Okay, so the house is empty. The van is way too full. I can't even go in. So, I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. But I'll deal with that in a little bit. So the house is empty. It's so weird. An empty house is just... Just... All the stuff I had in here was what made it my house. Now, the only thing is I still have to sell my table and chair. So I hope that I can keep them here. Durak is like... Durako. Durak is like... Wait, I always go on the window. How come I can't go on the window? So I'm checking everything to see if, everything, if we took everything... So weird.